Swadhyay is a very important concept, essential for each and every individual. From this Guru Purnima, we started the studies of the Patanjal Yoga Sutras. Because we are all students of yoga, so therefore we need to understand what yoga means in greater detail. We need to relate to that. And we need to be able to bring those principles within our lives. Towards this end, we have started the Swadhyaya Sutra. And now we are in week 10 of this series, the concluding week. Here we are looking at Sutras 47 to 51. We shall chant these sutras two times. Then we will look at the meaning of Sutra 48. Let us begin. Nirvichara Vaishara Dhyatma Prasadaha Rutambhara Tatra Pradnya Shruta Numana Pradnya Bhyamanya Vishaya Visheshar Tatvat Tajja Sanskaronya Sanskara Pratibandhi Tasyapi Nirode Sarva Nirodhan Nirvijaha Samadhi once again, Nirvichara Vaishara Dye Adhyatma Prasadaha Rutambhara Tatra Pradnya Shruta Anumana Pradnya Bhyam Anya Vishaya Visheshartha Tvat Tadjaha Sanskaraha Anya Sanskara Pratibandhi Tasya api nirodhe sarva nirodhan nirbijaha samadhi. Oh. Now let us go to the meaning of Sutra 48. As we begin the journey, of yoga, we were led step by step across the different stages. And as we start moving into the culmination, we find that that culmination is not one point, but it is in itself a series. The samadhi, what we consider, is not one point. And we have come to know that there are multiple levels. And as we come towards the Nirvichar Samadhi, what happens? Rutambhara Tatra Pradnya. Rutambhara, that means full of that ultimate truth, that ultimate which is considered to be beyond the senses, beyond the mind, beyond everything which can be perceived, that which is eternal, ultimate, there is nothing beyond that. And it is also encompassing everything. So that is the ultimate truth. Tatra at that juncture. Which juncture? When we are touching the borderline point of Nirvichar Samadhi. When we reach that point, that is the juncture. Pradnya. Pradnya is a very important word. Pradnya can also mean knowledge. But it is not the ordinary knowledge. It is refined knowledge. Higher knowledge. And that is why, so perhaps that is the reason why Swamiji has called this as super consciousness. So, the meaning of this sutra comes to be at this juncture, which means at the borderline of Nirvichar Samadhi, the ultimate truth of all the cosmic experiences 
mundane as well as subtle dawns and it dawns within this individual super consciousness super consciousness by definition is cosmic but here this individual is now slowly edging towards that point where there is a dawn which is happening where the knowledge which is beyond this individuality is coming up and therefore that individuality has almost effaced completely but there is just a trace of that that is the point and here there is that dawn of that higher knowledge higher awareness higher abilities which encompasses encompasses everything and it is not just an intellectual knowledge because intellect has been left behind that is a knowledge which arises stems forth from the experience that is rutambhara that pragnya that arises within us so this is what will happen eventually as we walk the path of you keeping this in mind and allowing this to be the inspiration for us certainly we are very far away from those experiences no doubt but it is possible for us to reach those experiences what is the way that has been told and even if we are not able to reach those experiences in this lifetime as we walk ahead this is the path which allows us to increase our ability increase or actually activate those abilities which are latent within us in your mobile there are so many apps if these apps are not activated you are not able to perform those functions but the moment you activate that app you are able to perform multiple functions in the same way in this mobile there are multiple apps we have some which are active which we have some which are not active we might have some trial period activity for some yogic practices are a process of activating all these apps so that we can function at full kill full steam that is the process of yoga that is the knowledge of yoga that is the experience of yoga and that is what we as yoga aspirants are working towards and perhaps that is what swami ji meant when he said that yoga will emerge as a powerful world culture which will change the course of world events it does not mean it is a place where everybody is doing asana and pranayam no it is speaking of this higher consciousness new awareness new vistas opening up that dawn has to happen when there is this dawn of this new consciousness then we don't remain limited beings we start becoming higher beings that is something which has to happen and it is the duty of every yoga participant to bring that within us so that we become the ambassadors of this light and we can shed this light of harmony of knowledge of peace in the entire world we can become like the lighthouses we might be small little lighthouses tiny zero watt or that that led bulb doesn't matter but even that little led bulb for one or two or three centimeters will dispel the darkness and if there are hundreds of those such led bulbs which light up there is not going to be any darkness you don't need a huge light 
just those small tiny LED bulbs to light up. That is something which we have to do. And that is what yoga is. Thinking about this, dwelling about this, pondering about it. Let us conclude today. And I would like you to think over this point deeply because this, I believe, is something which is very essential for every individual in his or her life. Hariyom Tatsat Namunarayan. Okay. Let us conclude with Shanti part. Close your eyes gently. Hands on your knees in Jnana or Chin Mudra. The whole body relaxed, straight, comfortable. Awareness back at the eyebrow center. And maintaining your awareness on the same experience which you had chosen in the beginning of the session, we shall chant the mantra Om three times, followed by Shantipa. Taking in a deep breath. Om. Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotir gamaya, mrityor ma mrutan gamaya, sarvesham swasti bhavatu, sarvesham shantir bhavatu, sarvesham purnam bhavatu, Sarvesha Mangalam Bhavatu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Om Tremba Kanya Jamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Ivabandhanam Rityor Mukshiyam Amratat Om Shanti Shanti, Shanti, Hari, Om. Hands in Pranam Mudra. Tvameva Mata Chapita Tvameva Tvameva Bandhusha Sakha Tvameva Tvameva Vidya Dravinam Tvameva Tvameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Tvameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Tvameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Hari Hi Om Hari Om Tatsat Gently rub your palms against each other. Place them over the closed eyes. Experience the warmth radiating from the palms to your eyes. Energizing, activating your eyes, the brain, the whole body. And then gently move the palms away. Open your eyes. Ariyo, Tatsat, Namo Narayan, Jaito.